to start filming this vlog. No surprise that I look absolutely gorgeous, being sarcastic, but I set my phone down and as I was setting my phone down here, a little notification from Shopify popped up. It was like, cha-ching, and I got a sale, ooh, ooh, got a sale. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this sale. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so anyways, um, sorry for the kind of like shitty quality, bad lighting. I look ugly. Um, maybe I'll have some like strawberry seeds in my teeth right now. Look at this hair. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. It's like, uh, what time is it? It's 9.50 in the morning. Getting a late start to my day, but I just wanted to check in and say hello and film another vlog for this week because you guys like my vlogs. And I wanna just document my life now because I know one day I'm gonna look back when I'm rich and remember the days when I was just starting out. So it's gonna be really cool to have everything documented and on YouTube so I can go back and watch everything and see how far I've come. And you guys can also follow my journey, you know? So we're manifesting that shit. Anyways, right now I'm gonna do some work on the computer. I wanna work on an email campaign because I have a sale going on right now. By the time you see this, it'll be over. But the sale right now is a two day sale and all tops are 50% off. The sale ends tonight. So I wanna send out a quick little email blast and um, let everyone know so don't miss out. I just made a smoothie. I've been, um, um, I just looked at my face right now and it, it distracted me because I was like, oh my God, I look so bad. Thank God this like little orb, it's not an orb, it's just the reflection from the window, but thank God this little light is kind of blocking my face. So it's not like that bad, you know? It's kind of like a, a makeshift filter. <laughs> but I just made a smoothie. I've been, ha <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> There's a lot of seeds in it because I use the triple berry frozen fruits. So it's like blackberry seeds, raspberry seeds, strawberry seeds, all kind of little tiny seeds. And one just like tickled my throat. Okay, anyways, I'm so sorry. It hurts to cough too, because I just did an ab workout like two days ago and my abs are so sore because I never work my abs. Anyways, I have been having smoothies like every day for breakfast and I'm getting skinnier and I feel healthier and I put protein in my smoothies and it's like my favorite breakfast right now. I just do, um, actually put oats. Okay, I do one banana, one cup of frozen fruit. Today I did the triple berry, like a half a cup of yogurt, like a cup of water. Um, I put old fashioned oats in there, like, like half a cup to like give me some like substance, you know? And then a scoop of protein and that's my smoothie and it's so good. I love it. Sometimes I use different fruit to like change it up. I really don't like using berries that much because they're more tart. So I prefer like frozen peaches, frozen mango, frozen strawberries, that kind of thing. The banana does sweeten it up and so does the yogurt and the protein and stuff. But um, I love having a smoothie in the morning. I know I'll get tired of it eventually, but this is what I'm into right now. So yeah, and it sounds like a lot because Oh my god if you use those measurements um you might get like more smoothie than you want if you're just making like a single serving but i make smoothies for me and zoe so usually there's enough when i do those measurements and i don't really measure like to the t i just really do it like i eyeball it so i had a batch of peaches that we had bought at the market that's been sitting on the counter for days now and they're getting riper and riper and now they're pretty much overripe so i don't really want to eat them but i also don't want to waste them you know so what i've been doing with my fruit lately including bananas because for some reason we buy bananas and then they just turn brown and then we throw them away but i obviously hate throwing them away so what i've been doing is when i notice my fruit getting overripe and it hasn't been eaten yet um i will cut it up and put it in ziplocs and freeze it and then i use it in smoothies because i've been like I just said, <laughs> really enjoying the smoothies. The little bit that you just watched about me talking about my smoothie or trying to talk about my smoothie, um, that was yesterday morning, today's a new day. But um, if you can't already tell, I've been really liking smoothies. So yeah, that's what I do. Usually we eat a lot of just raw fruit, I guess, but sometimes we just don't eat it and it just goes bad and we end up throwing away a lot of fruit, which is 
kind of embarrassing and shameful, but I don't want to throw away fruit anymore. So I just want to share with you guys what I've been doing with my fruit when it gets too ripe is freeze it so that you don't have to throw it away. Um, some of these are like way too mushy to eat. They're not like rotten or anything. They're just like getting overripe, you know, but once they're frozen and you throw them in a smoothie and you blend them up with other fruits um, and milk or whatever you like to put in your smoothies, it'll be fine and you won't even notice. So I just want to let you guys know because for some reason I just figured this out at 28 years old, like a few months ago. And I don't know why, maybe you guys already know this, but in case you're like me and you like didn't even think of doing this, um, now you know. So freeze your fruit before it completely rots and you can use it in smoothies. So this is the parking structure that we always come to to shoot content for Hannah X because the lighting in here is just really good and I like the industrial look of the walls, you know? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Every Saturday we shoot content for Shop Hannah X. Say hi. Hi. My mom's my photographer. Her and Zoe both hate being on camera. <laughs> Anyways, we just finished shooting and I was going to do some like behind the scenes stuff but I was kind of grouchy because it's like 90 degrees and it's fucking hot and I'm sweaty. And then this car kept driving around the parking lot. Like they literally drove around like 15 times and I don't know what they were doing, but I feel like they were making fun of me and they took a video or pictures of me and they're gonna fucking send it in to influencers in the wild, influencers in the wild. <laughs> But, which I think is so fucked up, honestly, like, okay, remember that girl, Danny or whatever, I don't really know her name, but she was like a Playboy model and she took a really rude, um, secret video of some old lady changing at the gym and she was making fun of her body and then she posted it on the fucking internet and then she had, like, criminal charges, like, filed against her for, like, whatever because that's fucked up and it's rude. Well, I feel like that stupid Instagram influences in the wild is the same fucking shit. Like, I'm sorry, I don't care if you're doing it as a joke or whatever. If you're secretly videotaping someone and making jokes at their expense, like, that's fucking rude. So, um, that's my thoughts on that. So anyways, that's why I didn't take any behind the scenes photos while I was doing, or video, because I was gonna vlog part of that. Um, but I just wasn't in the mood. So yeah, now we're on our way to Lazy Dog Cafe, which is um, right over here by this parking structure. And I didn't bring any extra clothes to wear. And my mom had ordered some blouses off the internet, which took like three months to get here because I think they came from like China or something. Anyways, um, so the only thing for me to wear, because I didn't want to wear any of the samples that I brought, is this ugly blouse that my mom um, bought off the internet. So now that's what I'm wearing to Lazy Dog, and that was a really long video talking about a bunch of different random things all in a two minute span. So I'm gonna go eat, bye. So I used these for the first time last night. IGK Hair just sent these to me in the mail last week. This is a detoxifying charcoal shampoo and a weightless replenishing conditioner. So this is a, like a clarifying shampoo, so you only use it like once a week. And it is a little drying, but I felt like the conditioner really brought back that or restored that moisture that the shampoo kind of took. But I feel like the shampoo, they made a huge difference. It's supposed to like remove all the gunk and build up that like crappy shampoos leave in your hair or like hard water residue like that type of thing it's just supposed to really clarify and cleanse the hair and it's supposed to leave your hair looking super healthy and clean and shiny and I feel like it made such a difference. They're not paying me to talk about this product. I don't even have to use it if I don't want to. They did send it to me for free, but I actually really happen to like all of IGK Hair's hair products that they've ever sent me. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I really, really like this shampoo. So it's not like something you're supposed to use all the time. It's just like a treatment, like once a week type of thing here and there. But my hair is super shiny and it dried because I've been letting my hair air dry. It dried like more wavy than it ever dries. I don't know, I just, I feel like that shampoo really made a difference in my hair and it looks super clean and healthy and shiny. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really impressed. And it also smells 
really good. So I'll be using this from now on. I also had a really good hair mask from them. It was like a turmeric hair mask and it was so freaking good, but I just ran out of it. But yeah, I really like this shampoo. I just finished a workout. I'm drinking my daily protein smoothie. There's little Zozo in the back playing with her toys that are in the garage. <laughs> my best friend Holly has been coming over three times a week to work out with me in the morning and I'm so proud of her and I feel really good and I'm having a lot of fun working out with a friend because she keeps me motivated and it's just fun to do it together. So now I'm drinking my post-workout smoothie and I'm sitting in the garage in the sun while I drink it. I'm looking pretty fit, you guys. My shorts are a little high, but look at those thigh muscles. I'm sitting in the sun in this chair because I get really cold when I drink frozen smoothies, so I'm putting my little legs in the sun. Hopefully I don't get an ugly tan line from my socks. My shoes are funny, huh? But yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Why do you look so mad? Zoe hates being on camera. Why do you hate being on camera so much? You're so cute. She doesn't like being on camera or taking pictures, which is totally fine, but I wish she did because she's so cute and I like to show her off. So I just started attempting my attempt at shooting some product flat lays or some lay downs. I have a lot of product obviously to shoot. I mean, for a small business. Um, so this is my first attempt ever at shooting like product flat lays. So Wish me luck. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes so you guys can see what I'm doing and then also just to continue documenting this small business boutique journey. So here's some of the product that I'm gonna shoot today. This is not my entire inventory, but it's a big chunk of it. I might do more, we'll see how this goes. And then I bought some bulletin board paper, this big roll, I just have it here on the floor. It's clean. Yeah, I'm attempting to shoot some product laydowns, but I'm realizing that because these were in the boxes that I store all my product in in my inventory and they obviously are wrinkled. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to steam all of these before shooting them because they don't look that good wrinkly so this is gonna be one pretty interesting uh learning curve zoe and i went to the beach uh two days ago and i obviously got a little bit of a sunburn my nose was actually pretty <sighs> effed up um it was like blistered here it's doing better but um that's why i look like i'm sick <laughs> i also painted my nails the other day these are my natural nails very proud they look very nice. Painted them this white color. Never done white before. And my mom just got back in the car. She went into Tokyo Central. Me and Zoe were sitting in the car waiting for her. And yes, this is our favorite Japanese market. My mom just went in there really quick and she got me these brown sugar boba bars because Jenny69 mentioned them in her uh, Instagram story and I love boba so I had to try these too and they had these here and then we got some what else did we get oh we got some jasmine green tea and then some Thai tea drink with cream and sugar so we can make boba at home update on the boba bar it's very delicious it tastes like you had a boba milk tea and it froze. And it's actually better than that. It's so good. So if you like boba, highly recommend. Mm, it was so good. It's literally so freaking hot. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 7.37 p.m. It's freaking so hot. It's like 100 degrees, like literally. Maybe not, but it's probably. Hey Google, what's the weather outside? It's 83 degrees outside, okay, at 7.30 at night. So freaking hot. Um, anyways, what I'm trying to get to is that I just bought a mobile workstation for my room just for now as I get started, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to show you guys 
and once again document the process you know so i just bought this um i went originally looking for like a drawer just some simple drawer system like this for all my like supplies and stuff um and then i saw this at michael's and it was on sale for 79 dollars. it's normally like 140 dollars, but it was on sale for 80 bucks so i decided to get this for now i have a wood floor so these wheels are perfect i know it looks like carpet but it's wood um <laughs> So this is nice because I can like wheel it around my room. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, but that's fine because it'll it'll do, you know, it'll do. So I'm gonna put this together right now and then I'm gonna clean my room because my room is a freaking disaster. It's, I'm gonna get rid of this TV because I don't need a TV. Um, This is a new shipment that just came in. These are new arrivals for next week, super excited. I'm gonna move this picture from this wall because I think I want just a white wall to take photos for um, the shop for now. And I wanna put that picture over here. The TV was there, but it was like coming out of the wall. Like it was gonna like rip down the wall. So I had to take it down. Anyways. I'm gonna clean up my disaster of a room right now and then I have to clean up my little studio because that's a disaster holy cow look at that I should do a studio tour huh um but anyways I need to clean this whole so whole situation but first I'm gonna set this up get my little workstation organized and then um start cleaning the rest of the room <laughs> my little makeshift workstation my mobile workstation equipped with six count them six drawers one two three four five six six drawers and this little extender thing to make my work tabletop longer i'm so excited you guys i'm so excited to use this now i'm gonna clean up this mess that i made because i just made this room even messier and then i'm gonna clean the rest of the mess okay so so far i've moved this over here and i have hung some things on this wall now i wasn't gonna vlog this part but then i just figured like why am i not so um these things were all neatly over here the little like whiteboard thing was here the whiteboard calendar was there and then that like positive affirmation <laughs> picture was here so now my art wall is kind of jacked up because there's like empty spaces but there's other art that i have that i want to hang anyways so i'm gonna end up redoing this anyways obviously i'm gonna keep all my norm stuff up there but um i'm just gonna rearrange it and hang new art so that is fine for now plus i don't really see this area that much so back over here I'm gonna be hanging this wire basket right now, but I have to drill some holes because um, I have to anchor it. I have to do some drywall anchors because it's a little bit heavier. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I think it's gonna go in this spot right here. Cause if it's here, it's just gonna be too high. So I think it's gonna go right here. Hopefully it looks good. <laughs> result so i don't know what i'm gonna put in here yet and i don't know what this is it's like dirty i'll have to clean that but maybe i'll put like my invoices from all my wholesale orders or i don't really know what's gonna go in there yet we'll have to see i'm also gonna have to change the calendar because it's not june anymore it's august but since this crazy pandemic and quarantine does time even matter i don't know obviously not because there's like nothing on my calendar anyways um yeah that's what it looks like now so progress guys progress except for i'm gonna need something for right here i don't know what maybe i'll put my vision board up there i need to make a new one i'm freaking dying i just finished a workout my girlfriend holly has been coming over uh three times a week to work out with me we work out in the morning because it's literally the middle of summer we're in august today's like august 14th i think so it's really hot she's been coming over at nine but today we did 8 30 because we're trying to like get away from the heat you know but it's just so hot i think it's like literally 90 degrees right now outside 
where I live. Um, I live in Orange County, but this is like gonna be the hottest week of this month, I think. I don't know. It's supposed to be 107 today in SoCal where I live. Um, but yeah, so we just finished our workout. I literally look crazy. I'm dripping in sweat, drinking some water. I ran out of protein, so Zoe and I are gonna go to Target. I'm gonna get some protein. I'm gonna get some magazines because I'm gonna use them as props for my flat lays. And then I told Zoe that I would take her to Michael's to buy another craft. So we're gonna go to Michael's after that. And then I'm gonna come back home and work on the boutique a little bit more because it's my job now. And I'm super excited. I got a lot, a lot of new arrivals and we're gonna shoot later today. So I have a lot of work today. And um, yeah, so I'll come back after my shower. Oh, there's little Zizo. Okay, I was gonna make this transition way cuter and when I like pulled my hand back, I was gonna have like hair and makeup done, but I just got out of the shower and put my lotion on and brushed my hair and stuff. And I had to get on here and talk about my hair because as I mentioned a couple days ago and earlier in this vlog, um, I used a clarifying shampoo for the first time from IGK. And again, this isn't sponsored. I just really like it. I like all of IGK hair products that I've tried. I've tried their dry shampoo. I've tried their leave-in um, hair mask. I've tried their um, uh, clarifying shampoo. I just love all the stuff that I've tried. And I haven't tried that much, but I've tried you know, a handful of things. But the clarifying shampoo, I liked it immediately after using it because my hair just felt like so nice. It dried like differently than it's ever dried. It was just really nice. Okay, so anyways, this is the first time that I've washed my hair since using that clarifying shampoo and you're not supposed to use it a lot. It's supposed to be like a once a week type of treatment. So I didn't use it this time. I just used my normal Pantene shampoo, which isn't that good for your hair supposedly, but it's just the one I use. But anyways, um, my hair, I'm like so hot and sweaty because it's like boiling. So I need to put the phone down, but my hair is so soft. Like it was so easy to brush through. Normally when I get out of the shower, it's so tangly and like dry and it's really hard to comb through. It was so easy to brush through and even when I was watch washing it like as soon as I got it wet in the shower it was like so soft it was easy to like you know suds up my shampoo I just noticed like a huge difference and I don't know if that's because my hair is just getting healthier or if it's from the clarifying shampoo but my hair's never felt like that before so I feel like it's really because of the clarifying shampoo and maybe this is news to me because I've never tried a clarifying shampoo before but um, hi, highly impressed, highly recommend, really impressed. I'm gonna let my hair air dry again because I've been limiting the use of hot tools and I just like letting my hair air dry, but I wanted to get on here and tell you guys that because I'm so excited. And I've really been like trying hard to take care of my hair because it's bleached and um, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. Also, I was thinking about this the other day. It really sucks like as an influencer and whatever, it's just part of the territory, but like I can't talk about a product that I genuinely like without having to throw a disclaimer on it because everyone just automatically assumes that everything is like an ad, but I'm still a human being and I still have things that I genuinely like and just want to share with you guys. So um, yeah, that's why I had to say like it's not sponsored, but I hate that I have to say that because like why can't I just like something without everyone thinking that it's sponsored but whatever i guess it just comes with territory but yeah this video is not sponsored igk if you want to work together hit me up you know need some money <laughs> but um yeah very much recommend that clarifying shampoo because i really like it and i truly feel like it's making a difference in my hair already can't wait to use it next week okay before we leave i'm gonna put my laundry in the wash i'm literally the queen freaking queen of forgetting about my laundry in the washer and leaving it there for a few days and then it turning mildewy and then I have to wash it again sometimes like I do that like three times until I finally um, stop forgetting or being lazy so just wanted to let you guys know that about me because yeah now these clothes stink like mildew, it's disturbing. Everybody needs a lullaby
found the Beanie Boos. We're gonna be here for a long time. All right, I ended up getting a shoe rack from Target when I was there, it looks like this. It's for um, underneath your bed, it's an under bed shoe rack. So I'm gonna be putting that together right now and then I'm gonna put all my shoes in it and then I'm gonna put it under my bed. <laughs> sled I'm gonna call it a shoe sled because it kind of looks like a little sled for my shoes goes under the bed it holds nine pairs of shoes so I really like this it was 20 bucks from Target I'll link it down below if I remember but um, I need like two more because I have a lot of shoes still and I have more shoes in the other room so I think I need like two more of these and we'll be good but I really like this a lot and it'll just slide right under my bed oh I didn't hear it work okay let's try one more time ready don't be scared. Excited for it. I know. I thought I did a good job. It's because I need to tie it tighter, I think. It's fine. Open. Uh, hold on to me. Hold on to my waist. Not my arms. My waist. Okay, I'm just lassoing your tooth. Do it tight. I will, but don't be like, oh. Okay, don't move because I don't want to bang it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you squeezing me? Oh. It's so wiggly. I'm like trying to hold it in place. Okay, don't move, okay? Can you pull your lip down with one of your fingers? Here. Don't be all weirded out if you feel your tooth moving. It's fine. Here. Pull your lip down from this side. Open. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Am I hurting you? Ah. Uh -uh. This time better work. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again, but quicker. Like, let's not, not so much anticipation, okay? Um. Oh, okay. Hold on, wait. Ah, oh, open. Ah. Oh. Okay, I feel like this is tighter. Ready? Wait. One. Go back a little. Okay. One. Two. Three. Pull. money you're gonna get how much money do you think you're gonna get from the tooth fairy I don't know. take a guess I put it know. into the universe how much do you hope she brings you if i hope a million a million <laughs> oh my god okay what's your second hope a hundred or twenty a hundred or twenty let's see it oh you got some toilet paper <laughs> stuck to your tooth let's see wow i bet you're relieved to have that out huh yeah all right mm. Now you can eat. Uh -huh. Yeah, now you're gonna have a grown up tooth. Can mm. I see it again? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your, your tooth. Let me see. No, your tooth. <laughs> I know, but let me see your tooth. Let me see. Let me see. Eat the ah, ah. Say eat. Ooh, nice. High five. You're so brave. I'm so proud of you. I would have never done that. <laughs> You're so brave. Good job. I think we have an Instagram influencer in the wild. Yeah, I think that's her. eating 
my Del Taco in the car and I'm ready to shoot now. We're at the parking structure that we always come to because the lighting is good. So we're gonna shoot some new arrivals. This is one of the dresses, super cute. I'm excited for you guys to see all the new stuff. Is there anything in my teeth? My nose is still messed up. Um, it was peeling. What are we doing today? We're gonna have a lake day today. We're going to the lake. Today is supposed to be the hottest day of the week. We're in a heat wave here in SoCal. We're headed to Canyon Lake to my mother-in-law's house. Well, technically, she's not my mother-in-law because I'm not married to her son, but um, it's the best way to describe it. So we're going to my mother-in-law's house to see dad, huh? And we're gonna have a lake day with dad. And it's the perfect day because it's 10 o'clock in the morning right now. It's already 92 degrees, even though it feels like 100 outside. It's literally so freaking hot. We're sitting at the post office right now. I just dropped off a package. And yeah, we're gonna go have fun in the sun today. And I brought a hat. I'm gonna wear a lot of sunscreen because I messed up my nose. I don't want skin cancer. And are you excited though? How much money did you get for your tooth? Twenty. $20, she got $20 this morning or last night, whenever the tooth fairy came. It was under her pillow and she woke up 20 whole dollars for that tooth, wow. High five. What up, shoot guys? Want to be in my vlog? Yeah. Say hi. Hi, people. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Daddy. Where are we going? We are going to Canyon Lake where it's going to be 111 degrees today. Woo! There it is. Hopefully they didn't steal our paddle boards down there. She's like, yeah, you can use my canopy. Pull it open. There's like 500 pieces. It's all broke. So we got umbrellas. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring my umbrella. Oh my god. Daddy got a nice little spot for us. What? A fish spine? Where? Right there. You see a little tail and a spine. Oh, wow. Tell girl you just ate a fish. And That's kind of cool. Yeah, hold on. Where? No. We're vloggers. Huh, Dad? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm just getting into this vlogging thing. I'm trying to learn, so can you teach me all the little vlog trips? <laughs> We're trying to get James to start a vlog channel because he's really funny and fun and he has an exciting life. I and don't know about that, you can yeah. follow him on Instagram at jpw42. I'll tag it down here. Um, he also has an Airbnb property that you could stay at. It's a very nice cabin out in Big Bear, California. Um, I'll put the link to his Airbnb in the description box below. So make sure you check that out because it's a huge cabin in Big Bear. It's beautiful and you need to check it out. So Moose Ridge Lodge, baby. Look it up. Moose Ridge Lodge. And um, comment down below if James should start his own vlogging channel. Ooh. Pretty sure that we made uh, this baby. Almost perfect. In this lake. <laughs> oh my god. We did. For real. Right there. Over there. That beach. Where? We should go to that beach. Over there. Yeah. What date was it? Be careful. There still might be more swimming in here. Nine years, my shit lasts a long time. What date was it? Uh, oh shit, I'm gonna get in trouble. Was it 4th of July? Yes. Okay, 4th of July. <laughs> oh, don't make it scared. It's a leaf with legs. It's a leaf bug. It literally looks just like a little leaf. How cool is that? A leaf with legs. A leaf bug. These are so hands. How cute. A leaf bug. Don't put it on me. That's rude. Some like, ah! <laughs> Hola. Hola. 
Where you go? Don't splash. <laughs> Where's the little one running off to? Say cheese. Yes, babe. Hey, lady. Hey. Ah. <laughs> 